Hello from sunny Florida. I'm outside videoing today, so I hope there's not too many distracting noises. But I wanted to tell you, um, recently I was listening to one of my favorite podcasts, and it's called S-Town. If you haven't listened to that podcast and you are a uh, podcasting freak, uh, that's one to check into. But anyway, I was listening to it, and there was mention of um, sundials and uh, how most sundials or many sundials have mottos that are written on them. Now, when's the last time you've seen a sundial? Sundial been a long time for me, but I promise if you do see one uh, in the future, in a cemetery, in a museum, check it out because there will be a motto on it. But I was intrigued by this, there's a motto on it because he, the, the, the podcaster was just naming off some and here are some of that I heard. Um, Do not squander time for that is the stuff that life is made out of. Or time is flying, never to return. Or use the hour, it will not come again. And use the hours, don't count them. So all about not wasting our time, uh, the precious time that we've been given. Here's one that you will recognize, and it's carpe diem, which is seize the day. So that got me thinking. I don't know about you, but I've been counting down the seconds, the minutes, the days, the weeks, the months, uh, just waiting for COVID to be done. I've been really just sort of wanting to rush my life through this season and almost wishing my life away. And I don't know if any of you can relate to that. Um, when you speak about having hope or there's a light at the end of this tunnel, it's really difficult to do when you are facing uh, COVID or deaths or rioting or just the state of our union right now. Um, but having said all that, personally, I decided that I needed to adjust my way of thinking and acting or life was going to just speed by and I really truly want to make the most of my days. Now, there are no templates on how to make the most of your day. There's not, but I did come up with some tips that I believe will help you and they will help me. And the first one is to be where your feet are. That just means to be present where you are. Don't let your mind wander just in, in, in doing things, but be present. Um, don't let distractions get in your way and don't skim over conversations that you have with people or uh, reacquaintances that you, you meet up with. Don't skim over them. Be where your feet are. Be present, be mindful. Um, number two is to look for hope and beauty in the unexpected places because they're there. Um, you can find hope and beauty when you just look at a little baby's uh, little closed fist or their, or their pudgy little thighs because they have their whole life ahead of them and they're as cute as can be. So look for hope and um, just to hope and, and things like that in the unexpected. Perhaps it's just maybe a sentence that you read in a book or, you know, uh, just laughter. So look for things in the unexpected. Uh, look on the bright side. Uh, put things in perspective. Is What's the worst thing that can happen to you? Or is this the worst thing that could be happening to you right now? And I would bet that the answer is no. So look on the bright side and say things or think things. You know, it was just pouring down raining here. And instead of thinking, ah, oh, it's raining today, I just thought, you know, it's a free uh, watering job for our lawn down here. So look uh, on the bright side. The next one would be to move your body. Move your body, exercise. Not only is exercise good for you physically, but it's great for you mentally. When you uh, get your heart rate up, your endorphins are released, and that is great for anxiety. It will help your anxiety, your stress, your sadness. So move your body. Uh, have an attitude of gratitude. I know that's a overused little saying, but truly have an attitude of gratitude. Make a grateful list and determine to add to it every day. And then take it a step further. And while when you wake up and right before you go to bed, 
ask yourself or, or tell yourself the great things that happened to you today. So have an attitude of gratitude. Uh, another tip to, to you know, live your days to the fullest would be to release grudges release grudges and that doesn't mean that you're condoning whatever wrong happened but you're releasing it because that's releasing the power that that grudge has over you another idea to live a full life is to give uh, life really is more about others than it is about us, and we are so me-centered, myself included. But giving of our time, our talents, our treasure, and even our smile can bless a person, but it can bless you even more. Um, the other, and another tip would be to find your mojo. Find your mojo. What makes you come alive? Do you like to play the guitar? then play the guitar. Do you like to play the piano? Then play the piano. Do you like to write? Do you like to um, calculate? Whatever it is, find that mojo and determine to make time for it every day. Even if it's five minutes or 10 minutes, find your mojo and make time for it. Uh, next one, nine, number nine is to speak words of life. Uh, there's plenty of trash talking going on around right now. Uh, you don't even have to change a TV channel and you're going to hear some uh, trash talking. So speak good to yourself and speak good about others. Use edifying words. Use edifying things or say edifying things like, I'm so glad you're in my life or um, thank you for being in my life or you're important to me or you are so valuable. Speak words of life. And the last tip that I have is to listen. Boy, are, am I good at not listening sometimes. Listen, hearing, hearing involves the ear, but listening involves your brain. It is something you have to do consciously. Um, and it requires concentration. So listen, so listen to opposing views. Doesn't mean you have to agree with them, but listen to opposing views. Um, see the good in people. Uh, first impressions aren't always correct. In fact, they're usually not correct. And give people the benefit of the doubt. You don't know what is happening behind closed door or what their backstory is. So in summary, in summary, um, our lives really are a series of one day after the other, um, one sunrise and then a sunset, and we continue to flip the daily calendar thing uh, on, our, on our daily calendar. That's what uh, our days amount to. But the life we live is chosen by what we make of it each day, of how we spend it each day. So today is a gift to you and it's a gift to me. So let's spend that gift. Let's use that gift very well. Thanks for watching guys.